One man, one mission. To rid the world of chronic anxiety once and for all. The Anxiety Guy, Dennis Simsek, shares his personal transformation from living a life filled with overwhelming worry to becoming a full-fledged positivity machine. A leading authority in generalized anxiety, Dennis gets to the truth of your mental health challenges and sets you on a path to transforming each and every area of your life. Here he is, the one and only, The Anxiety Guy. I welcome you, my extended family, to the Anxiety Guy podcast. This is your host, Dennis Simsek. And this podcast episode number 238 is brought to you by my newest program, The Inner Circle. Daily guidance by me. For 16 weeks, I will hold you by the hand and tell you exactly what you have to do every single day for 16 weeks through the Inner Circle program that you can find at TheAnxietyGuy.com. Begin your healing and stop coping. Warriors, This particular podcast episode is an important one for people out there that are struggling with their physical symptoms. When you have a physical symptom of anxiety, it's very, very common that you would get caught up in the physicality of that symptom. And rarely do you have the ability to look deeper than the actual discomfort that comes with that symptom. But today what we want to do is we want to ask ourselves some deeper questions so that we can actually begin understanding what we're going through and find out what is beneath the physical symptom. Now remember, the key to healing anxiety symptoms and finding the root causes is to view them metaphorically. Now, I do a lot of sessions online with people, and when I ask them, hey, explain to me what it's like to experience this particular physical symptom, this thing that you want to get rid of. And you know what they'll say? I'll give you a couple examples. For the throat, they'll say, I just can't seem to express myself. For chest pain, they'll say, it feels like I can't let go of this heaviness. Key word there, let go. For shakiness, they'll say, I feel like I'm stuck and I just can't seem to climb out of my own skin. Key word there, I'm stuck. Dizziness, they'll say, it feels like my world is just simply out of control keywords there, out of control. Air hunger, trying to get that breath of air. I just can't seem to catch up with my breath. Keywords there, catch up. So within every explanation of a physical symptom, you want to look for the one, two, three words that explain what's happening at a deeper level. Now let's investigate this a little bit better here. The first one, the first example, was related to the throat. I can't seem to express myself, someone will say. There it is. They're going through their life feeling like they have to suppress everything. Their thoughts, their feelings, everything. And expression will in fact lead them to healing that physical symptom. You see how this works? Dizziness. Let's go to the fourth example. I feel like my world is out of control. These people are not embracing the out of control and are looking to control each and everything in each and every aspect of their life, promoting further dizziness. Air hunger, I just can't seem to catch up with my breath. These people cannot catch up with life. They feel like they're always one step behind. And they just can't seem to grasp and understand what's taking place in that particular situation. These people need to slow down. So warriors, here are the questions that you want to write down right now. Because when you speak to someone, a friend or family member, 
these people that you're talking to, they want to jot down the key words that explain why you're experiencing that particular symptom. Here are the questions. What does this symptom feel like? So a friend or family member will ask you this question today, and you'll just go on a tangent, and what they'll do is they will jot down the main parts of your explanation. What does this symptom feel like? It feels like I'm stuck. It feels like I can't move. It feels like I just don't have any freedom. I feel like I'm stuck in my body. Okay, great, great explanation. Let's pick out the main words of that explanation and understand what's taking place here. The second question that they will ask you is, in what ways is it restricting you? Well, it's restricting me from becoming someone that can live in inner peace. Okay, great. We got a couple of very powerful and important words there that we can investigate further. Third question, what is it protecting you from? Well, that's an interesting question, Dennis. These symptoms, are they actually protecting me from something? Yes. If I think about it, my symptoms are protecting me from taking a bigger leap in life. Change. That's why people are so afraid of change. These symptoms prevent them from changing. The symptom shows up. The inner wounded child shows up and says, Please, don't take another risk. We can't afford making the same mistake we did before when people laughed at us. So, boom, here are your symptoms to prevent you from doing anything that goes out of your comfort zone. Now, again, the questions that your friends and family members will ask you and jot down your key terms, your key answers are, number one, what does this symptom feel like? Number two, in what ways is it restricting you? Number three, what is it protecting you from? Now, warriors, there's one key thing you want to keep in mind here. When we are metaphorically viewing our symptoms and asking ourselves these questions, you don't want to overthink. You just want your unconscious to spew out whatever comes up. Because your unconscious always answers honestly. Your thinking mind is always looking for the best answer and the ones that make sense. But your unconscious is honest. It takes everything literally. It doesn't understand sarcasm. And so just go with the answer. And allow your friend or family to jot down those key words that come with your answer that reveal... What scares you so much? Why you continue to hold on to this fear? What's preventing you from moving forward? Enjoy, metaphorically, healing your symptoms starting today. Let me know how it goes through the Facebook page under The Anxiety Guy. We'd love to have you in our tribe. And again, if you have any other questions on the newest program, The Inner Circle, head on over to TheAnxietyGuy.com. I love you all. Have a wonderful day, and remember that you are more than anxiety. Bye-bye. Thanks for being an important part of the Anxiety Guy podcast community. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave a positive rate and review. If you're searching for further support on your road to recovery from anxiety, head over to anxietyexit.com and take part in the powerful End the Anxiety program based around the CBT model. If you're searching for a more one-on-one -on -one approach, you can sign up now for personal coaching sessions with Dennis via Skype. Remember, you are more than anxiety. See you in the next episode.